Shout out to Steak for sponsoring this video. As a Steak Ambassador, sign up to Steak.com using the code STYLEBENDER and earn 5% rate back on your bets. Plus, Steak are backing me at UFC 276 by offering triple winnings if I end the fight in the first round and double winnings if I end the fight in the second round. Bet smarter. What's up, people? Same channel, same place, same person. And a new person, Alex Volkanovsky, the greatest featherweight of all time. Ooh. Funny enough, this is crazy, you and me, a headlining international fight week. Let's just soak that in for a second. People don't realize how massive this is because we did Marvel as well. But then this, we're doing a big arena on another shore, not Oceania. And mm -hmm. we're like, we're headlining that bitch. Like, I didn't, I actually didn't think that they would do it, to be honest. I like, well, I always thought that it was never gonna happen because they yeah. wouldn't, you know, same yeah. region and all that, you know, they might not do it. But the fact that they did it, look like, at it's us. massive. Look what we're doing. Massive. Worldwide. Put on a show, really. Yeah, man. So, wait. um, yeah, we're gonna break the fight down because uh, the last one just happened, UFC 275. So now we're gonna break this down for you guys and let you know what we think of the card. Stack meter, let's talk stack meter. For me, this is a solid mm, 10, honestly, mm. for me. What else could you add to this? Well, they always say top to bottom, stack top to bottom, but this yeah. is stacked yeah. top to bottom. Mm. Legit. Let's see, who do we have here? Jessica Rose Clark versus Julia. Ozzy. So Reyna, I know Jessica, she only, I know she talked about having a dream about me one time. I didn't really respond to that. She told Chel something after one of my fights, I was like, there's a clip about it. I was just like, and I was wearing some cool sneakers apparently, but I was like, all right. But I know she can fight. Yeah. She's I've been on scrappy. the same card as her back in uh, Rochambeau. Whoa, Rochambeau, Rochambeau. what's that? We, we fought on a promotion back in Queensland that was ages sure. ago. Like, like this a local was, show. Yeah, a long, show. long time ago. Yeah. We fought on the same show, but this is uh, yeah, this will be the, the next one. I don't think we fought on the same card yet. Sure. So that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. she's a little savvy, she can go. I know she can strike, and she's gutsy from what I've seen her, when I've seen her fight, she's gutsy. She's Jessica, yeah. I'm gonna go Jessica in this fight. Let's go to the next one. Brad Tavares versus, oh! Um, he's a South, Af South African dude, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, I know he had his debut in the UFC not long ago. Uh, How did he get it? I, I think he won. I'm pretty sure he won. Mm -hmm. It was a finish. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I feel like, yeah, it's a, it's a big jump. But people said that about me as well mm -hmm. when I fought Brad. It was my third fight. This might be the guy's second fight. Third? Okay, third fight in the UFC. So both UFC finishes a KO. Wow, okay. That's why they put him up. Oh, same, same. He was supposed to buy Gaslam on your car. That's right, yes. Oh, he's asking oh. for the big fights already. For stake.com, if I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet on Brad, because I know how tough he is. He's hard to put away. Rob put him away, but I, I know how uh, how hard I hit him when I was trying to put him away. He's a, he's a hard guy to put away to tough finish. Veteran. But this guy has two fights in the UFC and two finishes already. Mm -hmm. um, he must be highly touted. Yeah, definite. All right, next fight. Ooh, ooh. Man, Banger, alert. Banger alert. Banger alert. This yeah. is stacked. Jeez, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, why did you get to see it all? I, I was wait, looking, I was Bobby's like, wait, the Why did they put Bobby in the early pre? He just main evented against um, Islam. Islam, yeah. Why is he should at least be fucking prelim, not early prelim. Bobby Green, Jim Miller is an OG fight. Mm -hmm. We've watched Jim Miller growing mm -hmm. up. Bobby Green as well. We've watched him in the game. Um, he just fucking showed everyone's cojones and fought. The guy no one wants to fight on like two weeks notice. Um, Jim Miller's been on the roll as an as a older fighter. Um, I know his last fight, he won. I can't remember how he won, but he won. Mm -hmm. this... Knockout, wasn't it? The last one that I think I seen, I'm not sure if that was. KO, yeah, there you go. He did. Yeah, True. man, I remember seeing Against that one. Who? Mota. Damn. Yeah, but I remember his speech afterwards. He was talking about being an older fighter and still feeling like he's he's in it, you know? Um, but yeah, He's this... got the record, right, for how many fights, and he's oh, still going. And still crazy. winning? Yes. And still winning with KOs? Yeah. The last two KOs? Finishes. Fuck oh, me, dude. Oh, man, been around. One thing I liked about Bobby, because I've had him in my locker room, you see the way he gets ready for fights. He's free. Yeah. Like literally, he's in there just being himself. He's got his music on. He shadow boxes his way. And then when he's actually like hitting pads, you see him in his flow. You can I sort like of see that in the way he fights as well. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. And he uses his whole, he uses his mouth. Yeah. In a way that he just gets you out of your game. But Jim Miller, like I said, veteran. He's been out there. I don't know if they've ever fought before, but I like Bobby in this fight. Yeah, Jim's a so. veteran, but Bobby's just kind of like fresh at the moment. So is Jim. Who knows? It's gonna be a banger, though. I think it's gonna be. Man, a is it like his uh, Bobby's uh, head movement and all that's always on point. That bo uh, that boxing as well. Yeah, Shoulder man, he's roll. always going. You know, what yeah. I mean, whether Jim Miller can really bring in some, you know, leg kicks and go for the lower half of the body, mm. 
and uh, work sure, out of working takedowns and yes, stuff like yes. that. I, I don't know. But Bobby can wrestle, but he does. He never really uses grappling to the to the fullest of his abilities. So I felt I like his scrambles aren't too bad. It's yeah, not too bad. Like obviously I mean. Islam, you can't really go off that. Nah, you know what well, I mean. Yeah, he knows how to scramble. He knows so how to wrestle. Will, I think he'll keep it up on the feet. And I'll, I'll have to get Bobby on that one too. Let's see who's next. Uriah Hall versus Andre Muniz. Don't know who this guy is, but I do know Uriah Hall. He's a. Um, He's always been like hit and miss. Hit and miss. Like, he when he's on, he's on, but when he's not on, it's just like one thing I wish he would do. And this is, it's not. A, I'm not trying to throw shade, but just stick to the basics first. Mm -hmm. Like when you start fighting, establish your basics. Because when I've seen him fight, because I've studied him a little bit when he was kind of close, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I might have to fight this guy. So I've watched him as well from the Ultimate Fighter, but he'll go straight to like spinning shit. I'm like, where's your jab? Where's your distance? Where's your looks you're giving the guy? Where's the foundation before you start throwing, throwing all that fancy and shit? And you can see that sometimes, especially in the ones where, where he does lose, yep. is when people are, you know, not really letting him just do this do fancy thing, shit yep. and give him room to just do his own thing. Yeah. Um, this other guy, I'm not sure, but I don't know. What's his record? Let's have a look at his record. 22 and quick. 4, from what I see there. 22 and Damn, 4. Damn, wins, wins, wins. Ooh, wins there, man. What kind of wins? Submission, submission. So, oh, three submissions in a row. He beat Jacare. He beat Jacare. What? Oh, shit. Where? At welterweight, no, middleweight. Damn, so he submitted Jacare. Ooh. I was gonna bet and go Hall because I know Hall, but now I'm looking at this, I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. I want to see it. You think uh, you think it's gonna be a pressure type uh, fight, right? That's the thing with uh, with your eye Hall as well, right? You could see obviously a big highlight real fucking knockout yep. coming there, flying knee, jumping knee or something, catching you never coming know. in. But this guy looks legit, and you think you could, it's, it's pretty obvious that he'll probably try and put that pressure yeah. on, yeah. get on the inside. I'm going to I'm gonna hope he's on this fight. I'll go Uriah Hall for this for this one, for this one. Just because I kind of like the guy a little bit, even though he's a piece of shit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, kind of like him, kind of like him. him. But I don't know, yeah, this, uh, just again, you can't really go off, uh, off what you see. Yeah. But I might have to go with uh, Andre on that one. <laughs> Roll the, the dice. Roll the dice. All right. Let's go. Look, we've been Next the one. same the whole way through. Yeah. I just wanted to mix that up. Of course, you know? of course. With Ian Gary versus Gabe. Okay, I'm going to go Ian because I've seen him fight and I know he's highly touted. He's like the next coming of Ireland. Gabe Green, not too sure about. Oh, it's 5'10 versus 6'3. Okay. Ian might just keep him on the outside and pepper him until he finishes it. But let's see what yeah. this guy's about. Oh, well, I'll go Ian Gary on this fight. This is pretty, like... Ian Gary, I'm going to... That's why I should we bet yeah, on this one? Because I'm going to go Ian Gary on that one. We'll, we'll wait. Let's go. Next, we have... Fuck, this is... This is uh, it's been a long time since I've, like, actually done a lot of the fights on the way up. Holy fuck, yes. violence! This guy, Brian Barberino. I didn't really know who he was till he fought his last fight. Who was it? Check. Uh, Brown, Matt Brown. Matt Brown, and fuck, I was like- did you see that? That, that yeah, was insane. That was the one that made me go like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah. Oh shit. And that's how he's gonna fight every single time too. And also, you know Robbie's gonna be pretty much the same. Violence. This, yeah. That's like three fight of the nights we've seen already. Literally, there's like three fight of the night potentials, yeah, man, and we're not even one, on the main card yet. That's a banger. Yeah, yep. Banger, oh, banger, banger. Robbie Lawler every time. Violence. Yeah, I can't remember a boring Robbie Lawler and fight. Barbarina, 100% is going to be. Now I know be, who he is. I'm like, damn. This he, guy he's 100% all for that shit as well. So yeah. uh, they're going to be banging. Violence. Who wins it though? Ooh. Robbie's 40. That's what I mean. Yeah. He's, he's, he, I don't want to say he's on the way down. You know, you can't because age is just a number sometimes. Yeah, I tell you different. what, he looked good. When he fought uh, Nick Diaz, uh, we were backstage. Oh, yeah. We were backstage and watched him hit pads. And like, cause I was like, oh, I wonder how this is going to go. Yeah. And then I started hitting pads. I'm like, this ain't going to be good for Nick. Like, I mean, yeah. he's still moving yeah. good. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, let me, okay, let me go. But I'm going to go Barbarena because that last fight, he showed me something I'd never seen before because mm -hmm. I never knew who he was. And he showed himself. So, based on what Robbie, fuck. Yeah, I'll go Barbarena. You going Barbarena? I'll go Barbarena. Who's shoe though? Who's shoe he drinking out of? Fuck. I'm oh, uh, easy, whatever. Who's, who's got yours? Who's got yours? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Just drink out of the other person's shoe. All right, all right. Yeah, okay. just drink out of the I other person's person. shoe. I love the person, okay, yeah. I bet, deal. All right. <laughs> all right. Brad Reddell. Brad. Brad Reddell. It doesn't really fuck. Mate, can you just edit that in? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Brad. Brad Reddell. Is the best fighter. I have to. All right, Brad Riddell. Obviously, I'll say Jalen Turner. I'm a fan of this guy. I like his style. But when it comes to the team, fuck the other side. Mm -hmm. Brad Riddell right now, I mean, coming off a loss, he was on for that fight as well. Mm -hmm. And what I liked, for me personally, he's taking time to chill. Yeah. He's never, ever done that mostly for 
a lot of his fights, the Brad's a guy that's he's a workhorse. He just goes, goes, goes. Even when he's fucked and his body's like, chill, go, 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 go. But he's taking time to chill. He went around the country with his family just to, you know, because there's more to life than fighting. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of remove yourself from it to realize how much you love it, how much you want it to get back into it. I like where he's at with this fight. Um, obviously, we're going to go Brad because that's our team. But let's, let's ask Uncle Joe. Joe, do you have anything to say about this fight, Uncle Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Put the camera on him. <laughs> ah, look at him. That froze. Ah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, here we go. As much as I hate Riddell, <laughs> Jamie Turner's taken out two of my Aussie mates. Brad Riddell's got to bring it back for the boys. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Oh man, he had the chance yes. to put that's shit on Brad. Thing. That's the nicest thing. You know, thing Brad would have able to put shit straight <laughs> on him. You know it. Brad, so yeah, obviously so well rounded. Yeah. Beast, obviously watching him train as well. Also, working the games, man. I've with him as well. Lately, I've been, because I know I'm taller than him. Mm -hmm. And the way he's able to get in on me, mm -hmm. I have to kind of remix it. So I'm like, huh, these guys don't know what's coming. Because mm -hmm. I can see the game plan, I can yeah. see what they're working on. And he's still able to remix it on there and still get close to me. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be a tough night for Jalen. Yeah. I know it's going to be a tough night. Sure. Another banger. Another one. Pedro Munoz That's something that Sean does O'Malley. as well. Whenever there's a stacked card, he's like, I want in yep. every single time. He wants that highlight rule. He knows. Rule, he yeah, knows. He he's knows. clever. He will, I want a highlight rule on a card that everyone's watching. You want to try and steal the show, yo. What do you guys think of the O'Malley method of uh, fighting the cans until your money comes up? Uh, what do you mean? What? Oh, oh, like, oh, that's, that's what that, he oh, says it. Like, you know, like, method is like, uh, I'm going to make more money before I start fighting more things. You know, I'll start fighting them people when they start oh, paying okay, me for it. Look, man, I, look, this is... Munoz is not I, I agree with it, man. To be honest, a lot of people are going to hate it. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't look, man. I, I don't mind that too much. But I mean, this, I think this is a step up. Yeah, yep. well, oh, we're not saying Munoz this is, is, not a, is not a easy fight. No, nah, no way. But when you're doing that, when you're fighting these like lower ranked guys, what you're doing really is getting experience in the UFC. Mm. You're and getting experience. Fighting. Yeah. Right. So eight fights in the UFC as an official UFC fighter, that gets you an experience that's invaluable. Because he, I think he was he was pretty green when he when he jumped in the UFC. I kind of did the same thing low key with my fights in the UFC on the way up. I was picking and choosing. So I've I've picked and choosed. And I don't pick easy fights. I pick and choose the harder guys. And I feel like this is a good step up for Sean to, on a big card, International Fight Week, big name, a veteran in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Sean in this fight. Yeah, man, I have to go Sean as well. Like, he's, a, he's good, man. He, he knows plays the game Like well. you said, that long game. And uh, even like the way he moves and the looks and all that type of stuff, he can, all that fancy looking stuff, yeah. he, move, he you know, uses it well with yeah. all his looks and that as well. So Unlike Uriah Hall, before Sean starts throwing the flashy shit, he establishes yeah. his basics, mm -hmm. which I love. But I mean, Pedro, will he will he put the pressure on? Is he going to try and get in close and really you know, get he's in his face? He's a black belt too, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I think he is. Have we seen Sean on the ground, really? He's actually not a bad. I remember watching, yeah. you know, watching him in a jiu-jitsu jiu -jitsu, uh, combo and we were over there. Oh, yeah? He went in a jiu-jitsu combo. Was, oh, like, uh, oh, that's right. That was the UFC combo. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, went in and he, like, submitted some guy like straight away. A bigger fella, so, which caught me so, by surprise. I reckon he'll be flashy. But I mean, uh, Pedro is going to be a bit more experienced there. Like, will he put the pressure? Obviously, that's what these are uh, going to be little problems, but I think Sean's going to be too much. I yeah, think, so. definitely, he's, definitely. He's All right, we'll move up to Misha Tate and Lauren Muffin. Oh, we're talking stacked. Misha's back. She came out of retirement. Um, she was like sitting on the sidelines being a mom and was like, yo, I can still fuck these bitches mm -hmm. up. How many has she ha had like since that? that what was her last fight? What was her last fight? So there you fight? go, it would be Pennington, was it? K. Vieira. Just to split up, change it up, because again, we're going the same a yeah. lot of the time. Okay. I'll, I'll go, I'll go Lauren Murphy, because yeah, I think stop. it's, I'm I think it's going to be a close fight. All right, next, Pereira versus Sean Strickland. Okay, mm -hmm. so obviously, elephant in the room, Pereira. He's only got to be Izzy. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, say, you fucking tell him, Frank. You tell him, he's a dog. Sometimes people want to say like, oh, it's too fast, it's too fast, you push. They say that about me. But look, Jiri just became the new light heavyweight champ after fighting twice in the UFC. Mm -hmm. And his third fight in the UFC became the light heavyweight champ. I think Brock Lesnar did the same thing, or maybe in his second, no, Anderson Silva did it in his second fight, but after an extensive career in MMA outside the UFC. Alex has an extensive career in kickboxing outside the UFC. MMA, I don't really know much about. Um, Sean Strickland. He's a bad motherfucker. Like literally, bad, rotten apple, fucking. But I like the guy, he's funny. And he likes to talk shit as well. His stand up, uh, I've seen him do more damage on YouTube and sparring than in his fights, put it that way. I've seen his sparring footages and I would never spar with an idiot like that. I've hurt people in sparring before and I'm just like, oh shit, my bad, or I'll pull back, like with a body shot or whatever. But I've seen what he, he does. Keeps, yeah, I'm he just like, there's no, more, and he's yeah. talking shit. I'm like, yo, hey, whatever floats your boat, yes, but like, it's a funny thing to say from coming from us, but I, I don't like to hurt people. Yeah. 
I don't like to hurt people, even though that's our job, but I like to make sure they're able to come back the next day to do their work and also to give me work because you need your teammates. You get some people sometimes who come into the gym, they come in with their cape behind their back, like they're about to do some shit. Oh, I've been to some gyms actually overseas back in the day mm -hmm. and people trying like, oh, this guy, he's, oh, he thinks he's the man. Let me try and put some yeah. work on him. Then I regulate them and you take them out. You, you put them in your place. Yeah. I'm sure I'm, you've had a few in your time. I'm, yeah, of course. Yeah, a lot of times that happen. And then sometimes what gets me is when, uh, Again, you try and be nice, right? Yep. You be respectful and people don't respect that. They take your kindness away. Well, yeah, and then they end up capitalizing on things that you pull them. And then I stop. When you, when you throw I a head kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right, if you're not going to, you know what I mean? Then you, you make them be like. And, and then they just catch it and throw you yeah, like, I pull or, that kick. Or you're like, get in and then you won't connect and they're, they're off balance here, but they'll still slap you in the face with something. I'll be like, oh, well, I'll hit you. You won't do that next time. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's sort of how it is. So I'll hit you and I guarantee you, you won't be fucking throwing that at me next time. So Let I'll do that sometimes, real. that is going to happen. And you could be right, that could be happening. But we all know, is he, you know, I don't think... He's he... got many screws loose. <laughs> many screws loose. I, I, like, we're from the same, you know, our management program, Paradigm. There's only one interaction I've had with Sean Strickland, actually. And there was no How interaction. Oh, okay. So, Tim I'll was in the elevator. It. it was in the elevator in Vegas while we were all quarantining in that, you know, the, the motels or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then I walk in the elevator, like right after them, and then he's talking to Tim, and he's quiet. And I'm expecting like the, I didn't know who he was at the time. I was expecting like the, hey, what's up, I'm Sean. And I would just myself, but I just didn't get anything. He talked to Tim and then just like looked down the rest of the time. And I was just like, cause I could sit in awkward situations. I love it. I'm like, okay, cool. And then he left and I kind of like, yeah, I saw, bro, I'll make it awkward for people now. Cause I know, no, I, I love it. I'll make it awkward and I just sit down and just like, yep, cool, this is fine for me. And I watched him squirm. They didn't know how to act and they start to like start their words. But yeah, he didn't say anything. He just looked down and then after that got off and I was looking at Tim and he didn't say anything. So I was like, huh. But then later on I found out who he was and I was like, ah, that's why. And he likes to talk shit about me. He even said I jacked off to, to anime. Anime, I did say something about that. First of all, To yes. be honest, anime, they, they look all right sometimes. They ain't gonna oh, lie, yes. you know I what I mean? Really? I sexually, I said to you, okay, mate, they weren't too bad when you oh, put bro, some subs. I was like, no, yeah. damn, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame him. Nah, back, back in the day it was 2D, now the 3D. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> they do a lot of new things, man. Know what I'm saying, <laughs> if you want to go in the metaverse, I haven't done that yet. But there's levels to this shit, and also it's called hentai, you uncultured swine. First of all, learn the term hentai. Respect Japan. Now let's talk about Pereira. I, I, I'm honestly, man, they keep saying like, oh, it's too fast, it's too fast. I'm like, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They're pushing him so he can get that fight with me. And I'm like, mm -hmm. cool. I welcome it. Yeah. I look forward to this because one thing is people don't realize. Because we, we live in the, in the TikTok era where the attention span is that. So no one's going to take their time to go watch the first fight yeah. or the second fight and see what actually happened. All they see is the finish, the knockout. And it was a beautiful story for him as well. First round, I whooped his ass. Second time, second round, I had him on skates. And he came back third time and beat me. When you look, if you remember UFC 92, Rampage Jackson versus Vandalay Silva, Vandalay fucked him up twice in Japan. Badly, mm -hmm. badly. Threw the ropes, fucked him up. And then UFC 92, Rampage just blew him out the water. And he who laughs last, laughs best. Mm. So that's the thing, I can't wait. This arc, this is like, I like the arc in my story. Like this is, you know, like like an anime, mm -hmm. like a hentai. It's like, this is the, shut the fuck yeah. up, bro. <laughs> no, I love it. I love a good flashback. I'll have, I'll have yeah, the storyline. Story. Yeah, I'll have a flashback about when I got knocked down. I'm like, damn. And then training montage. And then rise up and then fuck him up and then fucking scream in his face. You know, you know, I don't think you understand how many times I've I've visualized this and I know exactly what I'm gonna do as well. Even if the referee tries to take me off him, I'm gonna tell him, let me have my moment. This is my moment. They can't take me off him. I'm just gonna stand there and just own it. Ooh. Anyway, carry on. Okay, you go. Who do you think is gonna win? Who if you're gonna bet money? Man, it's a... Uh... Stylistically, right? <laughs> Sean and Sean ain't gonna try and uh, take it to the ground. Or and and Pereira showed that he, he can might. do a bit of. I wonder if he would. He I know. You reckon he'll he will? To. He'll have to in this fight. He's so uh, he's like. Yeah. Even, even even like early on, he might do it early on just to get him tired. Yeah. I feel he might. Yeah. But it's funny because you know, obviously you, you see him talking like he's like major. Oh, these guys motherfuckers want to wrestle, rah, rah, rah. but I mean, you know, at the same time, will he be like, all right, I'm gonna do what I have to do? Because at the end, of the you day, have to, right? It's a fight. Rest I'm going to have to, I'll go with uh, Pereira. Mm. I think it's going to be a stand-up. I'm going for Sean. 
You got a Sean? I right, go for Sean. If I'm gonna pick, well-rounded, yeah. I feel like it's that first round he has to worry about. That's the most dangerous round with Pereira. If he, yeah. if he plays a smart mm -hmm. fight, I think he's Sean will get it. Yeah. If he doesn't want to play the the striker and try and outstrike this, his player, ego. If he plays the mixed martial artist, yeah, he's got a good chance of winning. That's you because put it the way he, it should be. He's been doing it a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah, he's grappled. Yeah, you know, he's grappled and wrestled with the best out there, you yeah. know? And Sean, though, Sean, I, I, I'm trying to think of Sean as Sean, and I'm like, his ego might get the better of him. His ego yeah, might yeah, get the better yeah, of him, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, so I'm, I'm on, I'm, I'm, if I'm going to bet money, I'm, I'm going to go Pereira for this fight, if I'm going to bet money. But it's a pick and fight. Actually, you wait, you're going Pereira. Fuck it, I'll go Sean. All right. To the greatest feather weight of all time. Ooh. Bro, first of all, can I just say this? Can I say, can I say this? I didn't think this fight needed to happen. Mm -hmm. Honestly, for me, the first time, I was there live. 5-0, you whooped his ass. Second fight, it was closer. Mm -hmm. I can't remember which rounds or which, but I had you winning even though it was closer. And people were like, oh, you're biased, da, da, da. Nah, I'm very objective when it comes to like, not predictions, I can be biased, but when the fight's already happened mm -hmm. and you watch it, I can be like, okay. He won that fight. He won that fight. I've had you on this guy two up. So I was like, what's the point of a third fight? When they were trying to do it again, I was like, there's no... Um, I just want... It's kind of like me. Um, fuck, this must be tired for you. I've fought Rob and then Vittori twice. The first, the second Vittori fight, I remember I got bored and I was just like... And Twist had to kind of yell to me like, don't get bored, Izzy! I think on the third round. And I was like, oh yeah, fuck, because I was just bored. So I don't know what this is like for you. You have to fight someone for the third time. A dangerous motherfucker. Yeah. But for the third time. Look, it's a hundred percent. I'm hearing it, and uh, it used to be, you know, like like you said, people carrying. I was like, ah, like I had something to prove, right? Yeah. I'll be honest. That's what that was something. It was something that I felt like I had to. Now it's not. No, I don't. had my fights. Yeah. I don't care. Like I don't care about what what people. But I look at it as still legacy, even though you've done it. Like, yeah. uh, and then you know the max just. The, you know, because he's still his name's still being mentioned out there of for he's one go, of the go, yes, we can go conversations. He's still needs to be, people think he's gotten better. He's mm. taken out some of the top guys. He's still number one. You know, all that type of stuff. So it's still a big fight. What puts me in a better position? Which fight right now? Say if I fought in two weeks and I threw out three, four names, what puts me in a better position after that? I, I'm, I'm beating them all. That's how I look at it, right? I'm beating them all. Max puts me in a, in a better position, yeah. I, I believe, you know, for legacy and, and where I'm at and, you know, what I need right that's now. That's what the and, people want. So if you give them what they want, exactly shut them down, right. then it's yeah. like, what else are they going to say? So that's the exact The fuck that's are they going to say after this? It's yeah, like, exactly right. and I'll yeah. tell you one thing. I, I mean, you're the man of the people. Mm -hmm. You gave them what they want. And then you give them what they want. They're going to eat their cake. And then now what? What are they going to say after this? Because I feel like this guy gets touched up too much. He gets yeah, touched man. up too much, mm -hmm. and he gets and he likes to That's, bang. Look, man, and uh, I, I I respect him. He's obviously a great fighter. Likewise, he really deserves, I'm a fan. you know what I mean. I like, I like the way he fights. I'm a People fan will of him. keep throwing the stats again, like the stats when they talk about him having the most. Uh, he's through the most significant I mean, landed. Yes, that's what people forget. But he's, uh, I think he's broken the record for the most absorbed. Yeah. As uh, people got to remember that shit. You know, that's a lot worse. That's not that's not a record you want. So that's something that I'm saying to him again. Do I think it? Yeah, do I think he's a great fighter? Yes, I do. Where I am, I feel like I've leveled up. People say he's leveled up, but man, I know I'm going to... If his chin holds up, then I'm pretty much getting into how I think. If I his chin it. does hold up, good on him. Yeah. But I'm going to land, and I'm going to land plenty on it. Uh, so if it does hold on, good on him. Man, he's a wine. He's an islander. They love a good scrap. I know this for a fact. But I'm like, this is not something that you want. This ain't what you want. Mm -hmm. Especially like the way you did it, bro. I got to The way you did it with um, Zombie... Bro, before that last round, you were just like, you sure you want it? Yeah, you that's all like, I didn't know. It wasn't, it wasn't something that wasn't, like, to be honest, that wasn't for the cameras. I didn't even know people would have seen it. Like, you know what I mean? Because I was like, he's done, man. Like, yeah. fucking, I, like, I could see in people's eyes. You would know when you're, you're in there. You're beating his ass. You were the one who knew. Like, like you would know when you're in there when people are sort of yeah. done mentally. You feel like, it, you, you feel can it. feel You could see it. It's like, he doesn't want, yeah, he's waiting for something. Like, we're worried. We ain't going to ask for it. Yeah. But I mean, he he's, he's going to accept he's out if yeah. it's given to him yeah. and he was ready to accept it but it wasn't given to him so i've like said it people are like wow you know as if he's gonna go yeah i'm done these guys they have to it crumbles at some point mm -hmm. this shit does not last forever yeah. you have to be into what did eugene say today the best thing he said in training today mm -hmm. the best fighters in the world have the best defense 100 percent, man they have the best defense We're talking about that as well that's yeah. uh 100 and it's in, in a lot of martial arts right like yeah. you're talking about boxing and stuff as well 100 percent 100% and that's um, that's something that I feel like it's going to have to catch up with him. 100%. And where I'm at right now, 
You're very bro. This this, this could be on. this We're this on. could be this could be where it is, you know. Well, for the stake.com bet, I know who I'm betting on this fight. The greatest featherweight of all time, Alex Ooh. Wong. Who are you betting on? <laughs> you know, I'm always, what do I always say? I'm always a safe bet, you know. Yeah. No, 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 no. Tell him, tell we him. always a safe bet. You know, yes, That's yes, it. Yes, All right, now the main event of the evening. Da 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 da. Jared Kenanier versus myself. Now I've asked for this fight after the Romero fight, I believe. Well, I try to, I try to set him up. Yeah, um, I wanted this fight, and I want this fight because I believe he's the dark horse of the division, mm -hmm. and. I like the guy, I respect him, blah, 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 blah. But as Jeff knows, when that happens, I tend to not um, have this certain feeling towards them. So I've put that all aside. When you know you're this. fighting. No, no when, no, when I have a fight with a guy that I yep. kind of like, that I like respect. But then he's made the same mistake that Rob made in the first fight. Rob made this, some stupid meme and posted it. And I was like, why are you talking shit? You never ever talk mm. shit. Now this guy goes out and starts talking shit about me. And I'm just like, and I see these things because my brother or my dad or someone was saying it to me. I'm like, huh. And then insert the Michael Jordan meme. And I took that personally. Mm. I took that personally. So, And Michael Jordan, if you watch The Last Dance, he's done some shit where he like, He'll take it, something that the smallest thing someone will say, and just multiply it and, and use it. And I used to do that as well, like we're wrong with that meme. I was like, okay, cool. People are like, oh, is he so triggered? He's so triggered by a meme. I'm like, no, I just, the guy showed me his hand early. I was like, you're showing me you're acting out of character. So is he. I'm like, bro, stick to what you know. Grab your obsidian, your amethyst, your fucking, I don't know, power, whatever rocks you want to grab, crystals, pray over them you know, meditate on them, do whatever you have to do. I don't want no excuses because when this fight's done, I'm going to show them who easy money is. So, yeah, I know how I'm feeling for this fight after the last fight. Like, you know what you were talking about with um, Holloway? Like, you felt like you had something to prove. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to prove. I've beat the other guy twice, but because of the way it ended, people starting to talk shit again. Kind of like the same way that they did with Romero. And it's like, I've given you classics on classics on mm -hmm. classics. And this is how you repay me. So I got the chips and the dip on my shoulder right now, man. And I'm People telling you. People quickly forget, right? They, that's why I said you almost have forgot. Like, like Roy Jones, they forget. Because it's like, what have you done for me lately era? We're in the TikTok era where it's like, whoop, they don't remember what you've done. So I'm going to remind them. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, man. And they quickly forget about that as well, right? So that's why we can't let it, you know, use it as fuel. Yeah. When we and move on, on, I say, oh, no, that's all it is. Bro, when I came to Melbourne, you know, I did my dance. And I came out and I could hear booze, but I could hear some chairs. It's all energy. That's mm -hmm. all I take it as. You fought in Brazil. Mm -hmm. You fought, Did you fight Aldo in Brazil? Aldo in Brazil. Bruh, what was that like? That was Ooh, vamos here. You know what? Ooh, vamos here. Yeah, man. That would get Ooh, in. I'm walking out. Yeah, the boys, I'm worried. The boys are there standing there, and then they go, they go, yeah, they're cheering. And I've got guys next to them doing this to me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm all right. I'm yeah. soaking it up, but I'm like, fuck, I hope the boys are all right. We are doing something magical right now that these people are going to remember for, we're, people are going to remember for years to come, forever immortality and I feel like right now the synergy from what I see in the gym I've already told you this you're you inspire me especially even your latest performance your performances like the way you got out of that triangle and then went to work straight away it's I know I have it in me because I've done it before like in certain fights but then when I saw the way you did that it reinvigorated this thing in me where I was just like fuck he was deep in the fucking waters he was there drowning and he came back up and beat the fuck out the shark and then walk back and then like Joe said, it took like 11 seconds mm. before he could even like pick. I thought it was over. Yeah. They picked him up. That honestly, man, uh, that just, that, I feel like that was the fight that, that made you a legend. You already beat Aldo, mm. Mendes, all that before that, but that was the fight I felt like that made you a, 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 like a, a living legend. And it's man. Some, it's something like you said, like we, we know it's in us, right? Everyone that knows me knows everyone that sees me train, they know it's in there. But I mean, you know, the world gets to see you. People really got to see it. Yeah. That was a good example of, you know, like, you know, when you can say like what I'm all about or something like that. It was a really good example of people could really be like, oh, nah, all right, I get it. You know what I mean? So, and like you're saying, you know, you, you know you got it in you, but like sometimes you need to be put in that position for yeah. people to not. You know what I mean? It was even good for myself, even though I knew that's what I'm about. It was still good to be in that position because he was fucking deep. Yeah. Oh yeah. But he was like, even when I was like, I was like, like oh, oh, fuck off. And then I started coming out and I was still in the choke. And I, cause I knew he was, I could feel his arms weak and tiring. And I, I automatically, this is just how I am. Think, knowing that he's tired. And then I'm like, I'm going to work as soon as I get it's up. Like because, blood in the water. yeah, so here, yeah, exactly right. So here I am still in a dangerous position, but 
I smelt that blood. And it's like, oh, you wait till I get up. I'm gonna, you know what <laughs> I mean? Fucked. Yeah, like, that's what it was all about. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I can't get up quick enough because I'm gonna put it on you. You know what I mean? So it was, a, yeah, it was cool. It was, a, it was a good moment. But that was exactly what I thought of. It just, it was cool. But it was, a, yeah, it, it was like unreal. Said, but we're gonna put on a show, 276. Let's fucking do it. Fuck, I can't, I can't wait. wait. Like right now, it was a two and a half weeks out. Like I've just had no static, no, no stress, nothing. But then when I get to this point of camp. You can see the finish line, like in a race, and you're just like, just, just get to the finish line. Don't trip up now and just stay focused. And that's the main thing. And I love the fact that, that the synergy in the gym right now is fucking beautiful. Like I knew when you came to the gym, the level will raise up. I see, bro, like this is the thing, you're lighter than me, but I'm trying to work like you. I'm trying to work like I'm fucking 145. I see you on the bike and I, I see the rhythm you're on. I'm like, okay, let me match that rhythm. Let me get past that rhythm. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. And I use that with everyone. Carlos, Cam Cameron's a fucking gazelle. I'm rambling right now, but fuck. All I'm trying to say is that you raise the level whenever you're around, and I love that, and I appreciate that about you. Yeah! That was yeah. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Let's go. Uh. Let's go. Uh.